Welcome back to Bridgeport as Providence College defeats Fairfield 80 to 72 and coach Ed Cooley gets a very emotional win tonight as he faced his former team. You could tell early on it affected him. You talked to him after the game. It was kind of a bittersweet victory because of how much he cares for the players on the other side. But his team showed a lot of resiliency as Fairfield threw some haymakers at the Friars, but PC responded at every turn. Absolutely. And he was very proud. He talked about his Friar club growing up tonight. But it was tough because it was mixed emotions when you're looking at those stag players who he said he loved very much. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. And Ed Cooley came out to a standing ovation. And as we look back at the first half, he was all smiles early. <laughs> so the head coach settle in and then his team started to settle in. Fairfield tried to take away their perimeter play early and the Friars started scoring inside. They started getting into the paint off penetration and we really saw them hit the offensive boards and hustle early. Big night for Vincent Council with 26. Uh, just off his career high, Gerard Coleman, instant offense off the bench. And a big night for Bryce Cotton. You know, we didn't see this a lot last year at times. Them pushing the tempo and establishing their own fast break game. But Fairfield, they started to chop away at it. They just simply have veterans and they have all conference players. So you got to expect them to make a run. And Sanders, with the foul trouble, played some good basketball for Johnson. Ryan Olander was big as well tonight, the seven footer. And of course, you mentioned Rakim Sanders, the Rhode Island native, had 15 points in the first half, but credit PC with holding him down in the second half. So at the break, it was 30 to 29 in favor of Fairfield. And in the second half, it became a half of runs and Fairfield had the first run. Well, Johnson got some other players like Barrow to start stepping up. Sanders started settling in and Sanders stopped settling for that three point attempt that we saw in the first half. He really started to take it strong to the Friars inside. And Vin, you talked during the game. Every time the Friars pushed it, good things seemed to happen. I'll tell you, we haven't seen this many black jerseys swarm in a long time. Active hands defensively and guys looking for offensive tippins on the break everywhere you looked. So the PC had about a 14 point lead. Fairfield hit a couple of threes to get back into it. But Gerard Coleman had this big basket. Kind of lost it, got it back. That turned a six point lead into eight. Fairfield had a, a couple of turnovers and Providence held on for the 80 to 72 win. How about shooting 55%? Fairfield, a tough nosed defensive team. They don't usually allow opponents to shoot that high a percentage. No, they don't. And you know that Sidney Johnson and Fairfield's not going to be happy with 26 three point field goal attempts and only seven free throws. But the Friars, especially the defense down the stretch, you got to be happy if you're PC. Well, coming into this game, you figured it was going to be a tough one for PC against a, a senior laden group. Uh, Providence with a lot of young players, but a lot of young players grew up tonight on the road. First road win in almost two full seasons. And I don't care who you're playing, that feels good. When you could win a game away from the dunk against the strong ranked mid-major team the way Fairfield is, picked to come in second in the MAC Conference, which is always a very good league. That's something you could build upon. That's something that Cooley and the coaching staff is going to use as a teaching point. Providence 2-0. and oh, They return home for their next game. Final score 80-72 to 72 over the Stags from Vin Parisi. I'm Dave Jagler. Good night from Webster Bank Arena in Bridgeport.